it burnt my eyes, y'all. Like, my eyes were screaming. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Atiyah. You can call me Tia or Sunny, whichever one you like. And today, girl, here we have Fenty Skin. Come on now. Come on freaking now. Y'all know we manifested this together, okay? We were speaking that thing into existence. We said we need skincare from Miss Fenty, from Miss Riri. We need, to, we need to have flawless face, you know what I mean? So they have finally came out with a, well, three products, but it's a six step skincare routine. And we're just gonna get all into it. I'm gonna give you guys my review. I'm also gonna demonstrate how these products work. Um, and just, you know, give y'all the rundown, everything you need to know, price, what they treat, um, if it's good or not, if it's worth it. So if you guys want to see that, then let's get straight into this video. And just to let you guys know, I am a licensed esthetician. She's a licensed queen. And also, let me give you guys a little bit of back background on my skin. So I have eczema. Um, sometimes I do get dry skin, but now I have a skincare routine that is very hydrating. Like, she's super hydrating. So, I would consider my skin to be normal, and I do get oily in my T-zone. Primarily, I get oily right here in my cheeks, so my pores are larger right here, but... We're gonna get into it. And I do have some hyperpigmentation on my forehead as well as on my chin. Those are like my problem areas. I get like hormonal acne sometimes when I'm stressed or if I'm just eating like the wrong thing. Um, and also I did have eczema on my eyelids. So it is a little darker than it used to be. And I do have under eye puffs, which is just genetics. And my under eyes are a little, little dark, especially right up in here. So the first product is the Total Cleanser. And this product claims to achieve a softer skin without stripping or drying your skin. And it's a cleanser as well as a makeup remover. Personally, I would not use it to be a makeup remover. I don't feel like a cleanser should be a makeup remover unless it has more oils in it. You guys see I don't have any makeup on right now because probably like the second or third day of using these products, it burnt my eyes, y'all. Like, my eyes were screaming. My eyes were so red afterwards. So if you do wanna use this product to remove your makeup, I will only remove it like on the perimeter of your face and like your brows, but I would not use this remove eye makeup at all. Like it's a no-go. And that's why I said it's a five-step skincare routine instead of a six-step for me because I wouldn't use this as a makeup remover. And a lot of you guys wanted to know if it will help with hyperpigmentation and they do claim to help brighten your skin. So ultimately that's gonna help with hyperpigment hyperpigmentation, but I have only been using this for two weeks, so I really can't say for sure if it's brightening like my dark spot. So I'm just going to damp my face a little bit. And my hands are damp as well, and I'm just going to squeeze some into my hand. I like to use a lot of products, so yeah. And it does have a little scent to it. Just to let you guys know, personally, I like I love the scent of it. Like, it smells so good. It kind of smells like strawberries or like watermelon or something. And I love me some watermelon and I love me some strawberries. Like, I don't care what TikTok said about it having little stuff in it. I love strawberries. Like, I just can't. Definitely get your neck, sis. Get your neck. Because you don't want to have a turkey neck when you... <laughs> 55, 60, you know what I'm saying? We want to have youthful skin. Ryan Little. <laughs> 
So yeah, as you guys can see, my skin, it looks brighter. It looks smoother. To the touch, it feels soft. My skin is already soft, but it just feels softer. Um, it feels smoother. It doesn't feel dry or like crusty. Like you know when some cleansers, they be like washing the dag on. It just be washing everything away and your skin is just left feeling dry and like crusty, almost like it feels cracked. But this cleanser does not do that for me. So the next thing is the toner. This is the Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum. And you guys, this is a really cute packaging. Like fancy, y'all know. Fenty always has really good packaging. I'm not sure how the products are gonna be packaged, like the box, because they didn't send me that. Um, but look at this, it is so cute. And then, you know, it opens like that. So the claims on this product is that it instantly refines the look of pores, which it does. It reduces the look of dark spots, which I really can't say if it does like I can't give you guys a solid answer if it does reduce dark spots because like I said, I've only been using it for two weeks and it evens your skin tone, which I really can't say if it does that as well. Um, and it fights shine without stripping your skin, which it does. I'll definitely keep you guys posted on my Instagram with these products. So follow me on there, but I like to just take some into my hand. And it does, it's not like a hard bottle. It squeezes out really good. Warm it up in my hand and press it into my skin. And you wanna be very gentle with your skin. Like you only got one body, take care of it. Make sure, you know what I'm saying? You ain't being all rough with it because no. Over time, that's just going to ruin the collagen your skin is made up of and your skin is just gonna lose its elasticity, which we do not want. So I just like to, you know, push that into my skin and I always go up on my neck because I just don't like going down. Gravity is bringing your skin down, okay? Bringing everything down. So I always go up. Oh, like instantly, literally instantly, this joint pours wear. Pores where non existent is ah! honestly, this product right here is my fay favorite. Okay, honestly, I love it so much. Oh, and also, all these products do have a very sweet scent. So, if you don't like that, ooh, ooh, you might have to get over it because, girl, this. These right here. So this is the Hydra Visor Invisible Moisturizing with SPF. Yes, I said it. Girl, it got SPF in it. I literally was just talking about um, on my Instagram how I need to find a moisturizer with SPF. And this is it. Like she is the one. Definitely better than the Super Goop. I love Super Goop. Um, that's the other one that I found when I um, was looking for a SPF because it doesn't make me look ashy. And if you are melanin, you know, if you got a little melanin in your skin, you know a lot of SPF makes you look ashy. This will not have you looking ashy. In fact, it will have you looking very dewy and glowy, which, <laughs> woo! I have been using this every day for the past two weeks and my skin has loved it. Skin is looking very much like I just drank a whole gallon of water. Y'all can't tell me my skin don't look good right now. Like you really can't tell me that. The neat thing about this product is it twists up and it is refillable. So this is the, uh, what is it called? The cartridge that the product comes in. So I'm just pretty much gonna wrap up everything. So the toner, it does help with decreasing the size of my pores. The cleanser, it definitely helps with making my skin soft, but it doesn't do a great job for me as far as removing the makeup. It does remove all the makeup, but I do feel like it can be kind of tugging on my skin because I'm making, I'm trying to make sure that all the makeup is gone and it burns my eyes. So I really would not look at this cleanser as a two in one. It would more so just be a cleanser for me. The moisturizer, honestly, is the best product of them all. 
Then it's the toner, but the moisturizer, because it has that SPF in it and it makes my skin look very glowy, Fenty did their thing with that product right there, okay? So, who is this skincare routine for? Technically, they say it's for everyone. Um, and I do feel like it is for everyone, especially for the people that have sensitive skin and dry skin. It doesn't strip your oils down or anything like that. It actually helps to hydrate your skin, starting with the cleanser and ending with the moisturizer. I don't have oily skin, so I would probably look for someone who has oily skin that did a review to see if it worked well for them. But I personally probably wouldn't suggest it for those that have oily skin, but like I said, do some research on people that do have oily skin and then come back to me. Let me know if they liked it. So now the big question, is it worth it? Starting with the cleanser, I personally don't feel like the cleanser is worth it. Like, she just not worth it to me. But I probably won't go and pick it up. Like I wouldn't run to, the, run to the store because I need this in my skincare routine. Um, The toner. Toner is the shiz nae. The toner is that girl. That toner is legit one of the best toners I've used. And I only use two toners right now. The toner, I definitely feel like it's worth it. I would definitely be buying it. Then the moisturizer slash SPF. Honestly, y'all, I need SPF. That does not make me look as she am. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna look emotional because <sighs> this is that girl. When I'm done with it, I'm gonna be purchasing another cartridge to refill my needs because that moisturizer is it. But yeah, that is the end of this review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful, helpful, and hopefully inspiring. If you guys did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And let me know what product you're most excited about trying or you really wanna get your hands on. But yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Tell me